Hey guys, Shogis here. Welcome back to a new video. All right, so today I'm going to be covering the best way to farm element on the new map Fjorder. All right, okay, so basically there's a cave. The location is 56.8, 84.7. This is where you want to come. And when you go inside the cave, there's going to be charge stations. So similar to Crystal Isle, similar to Aberration, uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to farm these charge stations uh, for element. So basically, to farm element inside them, what you want to do is you need blue gems, you're going to need charge batteries, which don't have to be charged as long as the, this has power. So as long as this has power, you can use this. But it looks like this cave is actually quite dangerous. There's going to be a lot of aggressive dinos in here, so we're going to, you're going to want to do this early game. You know, when you first start out on this map, you're going to need to get a replicator, right? So, uh, to be able to get the replicator, you're going to need, what, 100 element, um, which you're going to need to farm this way. And once you farm it this way, you can then go farm shards in the mountain, but we'll cover that in a minute. So, yeah, so you're needing blue gems, you're going to need batteries, charged or non-charged. You're going to need uh, concealed gas balls, you're going to need element ore. You're gonna need green gems and red gems. So it's quite a lot of random stuff that you need to make element, but there's quite a few charge nodes in here. Oh, and there's red gems in here. So that's, you can nail one thing off your list that you need. So you've got what red gems here. Uh, what ones are these? So you got blue gems in here. You got red gems in here. So I will show you what the entrance looks like. So you can't miss it. So, there's like the red obelisk, the lava island, and then there's a cave entrance right there. All right, guys, so the element pit is actually located inside the fire wiring trench. Uh, this is a fire wiring trench only, so there is only fire wirings in here. So if we go down here, this is the magmasaur pit. Uh, there is magmasaurs here as well, so this is where you'll get your early magmasaurs. And it's basically like the gen one pit. Uh, there's element shards. Uh, these pinkish reddish ones and you can farm your element shards here The best way to farm these is an anki uh, You don't have an anki uh, Mining drill, but an imprinted anki is probably your best bet since striders aren't on this map uh, There's also black pearls inside this cave as well, which is really nice. The pit itself isn't too big um, It's big enough, but you know, it's not insane to be honest. I don't know how much you could farm here. I'm guessing with an imprinted Anki, you'd be lucky if you get five, six hundred element a run. I'm guessing around about that on six man rates. The cave is buildable currently. Um, you can build everywhere inside the cave, which is I'm really hoping to change for release so people don't have turrets all over this place. That'd be an absolute nightmare to deal with. But yes, um, the, cave, the pit itself isn't too big. All right guys, so next on the list, we're gonna figure out how to get concealed gas balls. I'm gonna show you where you can pick those up. All right, so guys, for your gas balls, you're gonna to wanna to come to 74.1, 89.8, which is also on the lava island at the opposite side of the lava pit of the island. And uh, there is Magmasaurus aggressive here. Um, and your gas balls are actually these little nodes here, they're quite small. It's condensed gas, you see that? These count as gas balls. So this con condensed gas is gas balls. And there's quite a few just all over the place. I don't know if this one's farmable, nope. <laughs> Chicken chibayed by some rocks, that one is. This one is. That is just stone, just double checking, which I thought it would be. Actually, that doesn't even look like one. But yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of condensed gas balls all over this place. And there's it's quite a big field, so you shouldn't have too much an issue getting your gas balls. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to farm your element ore now. All right, guys, so this is where your element ore is. This is the only place I can find it currently. You can also use element ore to power your skiff. If you guys didn't know, it's a cheaper way. But I don't think you'll need to do that when there's going to be quite an abundance of element. Not too much element. It's not going to be insane. Um, Gen 2 is definitely going to be much better. Gen 1 is probably going to be much better. But this is definitely going to be up there, you know. Anyway, so the entrance to this is 52.5, 16.3. It's actually in the water. It's quite a big cave opening. And it's actually quite far down in 
in the cave that you have to go. So you're gonna need a scuba tank. Um, as you can see, that's it here. I don't actually know how much element ore is here, but they're the little, you see the little purpley rocks. Yeah, there's some here, there's some over there. Best way to farm these is also actually bringing an Anki down here uh, and using the Anki underwater. So level up some Ankies, get some oxygen on it. I would totally suggest it, as well as obviously some melee, whatever you can. But it doesn't seem to be too much. Uh, too many crystals, to be honest. But anyways, that is where you're going to farm your element ore, guys. All right, and last on the list, guys, is the green gems. Right, your green gems. This is going to be where you want to come for your green gems. Uh, this is the best place I could also find here. So this is at 40.3, 31.7. Um, just go inside here. It's just also a water cave. So you're probably going to need what would suggest to bring in some scuba for this as well. Same again, guys. Uh, best way to farm this, definitely an anke. And you get your green gems here. And I'm pretty sure we've covered everything. So your blue gems, the red gems are inside that cave as well, your green gems, your element ore, and then your gas balls. And that should be everything you need to start on your element. And inside this cave is actually really nice. Apart from it being green gems, there's not much else in this cave. It's quite kind of useless, but it is a nice cave. I love these little trees. Oh, it's gas vein. Another gas vein here, so this is it's another way to get your concealed gas balls. Put a gas extractor on one of those. I don't know how fast they're farming up, though that's the one thing. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I didn't want to F around, just want to get straight to the point. This is where the resources are. Go get it. Good luck on Fjordor, boys.